Lesson 93, Did You See the News Today? John, did you see the news today? No, what happened? There was a big earthquake in San Diego. Oh my goodness! The president was on the news talking about it earlier. Was anyone hurt? I think they said two people were killed. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I can't believe you hadn't heard about it. They were talking about it on CNN all day. Oh, I don't watch TV that often. Don't you watch the news? No, I usually read the news online, but I haven't had time to turn on my computer today. Lesson 94, What's your favorite sport? What's your favorite sport? I like basketball. I watch the games on TV all the time. Who's your favorite team? The Boston Celtics. They're really good this year, aren't they? Yes. Do you like them? Yes. Everyone around here does. Do you think they'll win the championship this year? It's possible. They have some really good players. Did you watch the game last night? A little, not the whole thing. I watched the second half though and I saw some of the highlights online. It was a great game, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you know who they're playing tomorrow night? I think they're playing LA. That's going to be a tough game. LA has a good team. Lesson 95, Making a Web Page Hi Liz. Are you working on your web page now? No, I'm still waiting for you to send me that image file for the home page. You mean you didn't get it? I sent it to you over an hour ago. Let me check. It's going to take a second cause I have to start up my computer. Okay. Did you get it? One second. I just have to open my web browser and check my Hotmail account. Okay. Okay, here it is. I got it. How do I find the web page? I tried to search for it on Yahoo but I couldn't find it. Don't use Yahoo, use Google. I tried that also and it didn't work. If you go to Google and search for my name, you should be able to find it. Okay. Let me try that. I see it now. Lesson 96. Would you mind driving? Hey Michael, I'm tired. Would you mind driving for a while? Sorry. I would like to, but I don't know how to drive. Really? You don't have a license? I thought everyone had a license. No, I've lived in cities all my life and when I'm at home I usually take the subway or bus. I see. Do you think you'll learn to drive in the future? Yes. I plan to buy a car next year. I think you need one in the US. Actually, now that I think about it, a lot of people in cities here take the bus also. Well, I'd like to travel more. I've been here for a few months already and I feel like I haven't seen anything yet. How are you going to learn to drive? Do you want me to teach you? No, I wouldn't want to trouble you. I've already signed up for a class near my house. It starts next month. Lesson 97, Your English is so good. Thomas your English is so good. How do you learn it? Well, 
In my country everyone has to take English starting in the first grade. I've been taking English courses for 12 years now. Wow, that's interesting. I remember when we took that trip last year and visited your family. It seemed like there weren't many people that could speak with me in English. Oh, that's because they don't speak English that much. But they speak it in school, right? Maybe they just didn't like me so they didn't want to talk to me. No, actually they liked you a lot. They told me they thought you were very nice. They are just shy. They're not used to talking with foreigners. I remember when I first came to the US I was really nervous about speaking with people. I see. I thought there were lots of Americans teaching English in your country. Yes, that's true. There are probably twice as many now as there were five years ago, but they are mostly in the cities. My family lives in the country. I wonder why. Personally I prefer the country to the city. It's so quiet and peaceful. If I were to teach, I would want to teach in the country. Do you think you would want to teach someday? I know the schools around my town are looking for teachers, so if you want I can call them and get more information. No, I don't think so. I would need to stay there for a year, and I don't think I can't take that much time off work. Well, if you change your mind, let me know. I think you would be a really great teacher. Lesson 98, GIFTS Dorothy what are your plans for Christmas? Oh yes, it's almost Christmas, isn't it? I'm not sure what I'll be doing then. Well, if you don't have any plans, you family could have dinner at my house. That's very nice of you, thanks. Have you finished your shopping yet? No, I still have to do that. I think I'll go to the mall this weekend. It's going to be really crowded at the mall. You should shop online. You're right. My family loves to read, so I can probably get them all presents from Amazon.com. What do you think you'll get for your wife? Probably a romance novel. It seems like she's always reading one of those. Don't you think you should get her something a little more expensive, like jewelry or maybe a new computer? Maybe you're right. It's hard buying gifts. I think my wife has everything she wants. Maybe I should just ask her. Lesson 99, Election Martin, who are you going to vote for? You mean for president? Yes. I'm not sure yet. You should make up your mind soon. The election is next month. Yes, I know. I hear about it every day on the news. I'm going to vote for Obama. I think he is a good choice, but I think McCain would make a good president also. I know. They're both good. It's hard to decide. McCain is older but he has more experience. Obama seems to have a lot of good ideas, but some people say he wants to raise taxes. I heard he wants to lower taxes. It's hard to know what the truth is. That's the reason I really don't pay attention to politics. Yes, it can be frustrating, but it's important and it's interesting to watch. Lesson 100, Book Club Hey John, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, what's up? I wanted to let you know about a book club I joined a couple months ago. I know you do a lot of reading so I thought you might want to come with me next month. Oh, that sounds like fun. When does the group meet? Usually the last Saturday of the month at 9.30 in the evening. Is that too late for you? No, 
I think that's okay. What do you talk about in the group? Well, every month we choose a new book and then during the next meeting we discuss it. What book are you reading now? The Kite Runner. I've heard that's a good book. What's it about? It is a good book. I'm almost finished. The book is about a boy who grows up in Afghanistan during the 1980s. It's called The Kite Runner because the main character takes part in a kite flying competition. That sounds really interesting. I'd love to come. Okay, great. The next meeting isn't for another two weeks, so you still have time to read the book. <laughs>